Hi there, so today I'm going to be taking you on a step-by-step -step guide for beginners on how to make a fascinator with straw mats. So the first thing we're going to do, learn is how to strip the straw mat. Then we're going to be learning how to do the spirals. Then we're going to go over to learn how to attach the spirals to the hand, head, Alice band rather, and then how to garnish it with our feathers. If you have been on my channel before, you must have already learned how to use this same straw mat to make lovely designs. I showed you the two way to pleat a straw mat. And coming very soon is how to use the straw mat to make the trendy Instagram gilly. Ain't that superb? Now, if you don't want to miss that coming up, you want to click that subscribe button right now. And essentially the bell which notifies you when I put up new training so you won't miss that training at all okay let's move straight to business so here are the items we'll be needing to make this fascinator with straw mat here they are in the flesh that's your straw mat and um, thread scissors needle Alice band uhu gum and feathers so the first step is to determine the width of your strips. I want to make it three. You know, they're in line line, so I'm going to be making it three, three. So you put your hand and bend it a bit and use your scissors and cut out one thread and just use your hand and drag it and it just comes loose like that. So I will take off one part. Just keep watching. Okay, so I want to stop there. So I'm going to use the scissors and cut it there. Can see at that place it's starting to become four okay i start the next one let's go a little faster i'll be needing three of these strips so determine the number of strips you want to make use of second step is to pull out those threads can you see those threads at the end so you pull them out like so keep watching and learning done that for all the strips the next step is to take each of the strip you see there's a part that is coming up you need to sew that part first of all firmly so it doesn't start loosening from there once you're done with that the next step is to start making your loops now you can be creative about it you don't need to follow my process just be looping and looping and looping and be testing on your alice band the way you want it to come out so keep watching and learning Sure that that part that it's coming out from the remaining strips is sewn first of all before I sew the remaining part. So keep watching and then.
Next step is to attach our Alice band to the spiral straw mat. Keep watching and learning. You can do some repositioning after you have even fixed it to the Alice band like I'm doing to make it look cuter the way I would like it. So once done, the next step is to pull out the feathers from the fan feathers from the strip just like that and you start attaching it to your straw mat fascinator the way you want it to be. So keep watching and learning. After you've done that, you want to cover up the back with pieces of the strips. You just cut them small small like that and just cover the sewing that you've done. That's our step-by-step -step guide for beginners and how to make this lovely fascinator with straw mats. So for staying with me till the very end, if you're the first person to tell me how many strips I made use of in making this lovely straw mat fascinator, you get to attend the Vendcraft Academy Fascinator Class 1 for free. So before you jump off my channel, check out this next video up on the screen and do take care of you and stay blessed.